Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Prepping on the Creek here and uh, have something here from Echo Worthy, which uh, I've been looking at for quite a while and they sent this to me. We have two uh, 12 volt battery trickle chargers. We've got a 5 watt and a 10 watt. We're going to open them up, test them out, and tell you if they're any good or not. I just want to do a quick unboxing of these two solar panels, these two trickle chargers. Here we got the 5 watt, and it looks like you get some alligator clips and a cigarette lighter adapter. <clears throat> and you get the solar panel. This is the 5 watt. These have SAE connectors on them. And one thing you don't need is a charge controller. This has um, kind of a built in charge controller on it. It has a light which you can't see right now because it's not plugged in but we'll try to show it to you if it can be seen in the in the light when we do some testing but that'll uh, flash green when it's charging but uh, it has suction cups on all four corners so you can stick it inside a windshield of an automobile if you want to and like I say the cigarette lighter adapter if you have a um, cigarette lighter port or a 12 volt port in your car that's always hot then you can use that and suction cup this to the inside if you don't then you would use the alligator clips and you can run it in um, to your vehicle where you can still take advantage of the suction cups um, with the alligator clips you might need to get an extension um, if the cord's not long enough but you can do that it comes with the um, owner's manual and we'll just kind of touch on some of the uh, specifications. It is a 5 watt panel. It's um, open circuit or uh, VOC of 18.7, uh, 2.29 amps. And let's see here. Let's open the other one and look at its owner's manual because that one seems to be in another language. This is a 10 watt and you get the same exact thing. A cigarette lighter with alligator clips. The back of the panel has the charge controller built in. The front it has got the four suction cups. Very nice um, solid. It's a, it's a firm panel. It's not a uh, flexible panel. And like I say, you can fasten it to the inside of your vehicle on the windshield. And then, let's see if we can read this one a little bit better. It has an owner's manual in here. And yes, operating voltage 18.7 on the 5 watt, 0.29 amps of uh, operating current. Has overcharge protection. Has uh, overcharge recovery. Maximum power on the 10 watt panel is again 18.7 and then the current 0.58. So they're very lightweight. Um, the 5 watt comes in at 0.4 pounds and the 10 watt comes in at 0.7 pounds. So a very lightweight but made very well. And what we're going to do is we're going to take them out on the vehicle and show you how they work. Okay, we got the 10 watt panel here and we just want to do a little voltage check. Prior to uh, hooking this up, we're at 12.44 volts. Already hooked it up, we checked the voltage there and you saw that we are already up to 12.53. There's a little indicator light on the back of this panel that uh, shows you that it's charging. It's hard to see here when we're out in the sun. But what we're going to do is just leave this sitting out here. Now you can use the cigarette lighter, cigarette lighter port um, adapter if you have an always hot 12 volt socket in your car. Now this car doesn't have one so I'm having to use the alligator clips. But just to show you. We're going to go ahead and unhook this meter, turn it off, and we're just going to let that sit. Now you can run this 
which I probably should show you. Let me raise my hood back, and I'm doing this with one hand, I apologize. I can run this where you can run this where you can close your hood with no problems and you just leave the solar panel sitting out there and we'll check back on it a little bit later all right just wanted to show you here we're at 12.94 we were up over 13 volts there for a second so this one is really doing a good job this is the the 10 watt and you can see there jump back up to 13.5 so 13.6 13.7 so this thing does a really good job of maintaining that battery charge and like i say you can leave this thing in here all day and pardon me a tractor driving by we'll let it go um, you can leave this thing in all day and if you have a hot cigarette lighter port you could literally um, suction cup this panel to your window inside and I guess I still could do it now um, and if you wanted to you could make a permanent run where you just have to come out here and clip the batteries and that's only if you don't have a 12 volt cigarette light cigarette lighter adapter that's um, not hot all the time that you have to use the alligator clips and unfortunately for me I have to use the alligator clips because I don't have that hot um, plug but I would say this thing is is awesome highly recommend it um, keeping your battery healthy is important um, I know if you're like me you've had battery trouble in the past but this will extend the life of your battery by keeping it topped off and uh, this doesn't uh, overcharge as you can see you know when your alternator is running you can get as high as over you know over 14 volts in here but this is keeping a nice trickle charge right now and you saw there it was up over 13 but with the intensity of the sun I've seen it as high as 13.7 uh, it's never really creeped over 14 volts but uh, this is is sufficient I'm going to show you another great use for these trickle charge solar panels. Right here I have my Furman generator. And, you know, we try to start this thing once a month. Um, at least that's the plan because it's new right now. So we want to um, keep it active and, and ready when we need it. So it's an electric start. And it has a battery. A little 12 volt battery. So putting a, one of these little 5 10 watt trickle chargers on um, lawnmower generator battery like that that way you can make sure that your battery is, is staying healthy and it's ready to go in an emergency so I'm going to hook it up and then uh, first I'll take the voltage then we're going to hook it up and show you the voltage again okay you can see this battery is actually at 12.93 volts already still doesn't hurt to put a little trickle charge to it so I'm going to hook it up and then we'll see what the voltage climbs to okay just for testing purposes I'm just setting it out here to where it can get some sun we'd probably do something more permanent for it and one thing I do have is I did have to add a little extension cable to that and then we've got it hooked up and you can already see that the voltage is up to 13.09 so it is taking a charge and we'll check back in on it a little later check in on our generator battery still sitting there 3.3 volts or excuse me 13.3 volts so it's maintaining a a charge so we got a little bit of suns in and out but say you could leave this on here you know all the time and maintain that uh, battery charge in a healthy status okay I wanted to show too here we're getting about a half an amp going in which is which is great 
and uh, this one is, is doing really well. This is the 5 watt panel hooked to um, my generator battery and we're consistently getting about a half an amp. Uh, I've seen it get up to about 0 0.6 when uh, the sun's really intense but uh, it keeps a nice trickle charge going. This is the 10 watt panel and we're getting about a half an amp on it as well. A little more voltage so it um, may give out you know a few more watts than the obviously the 5 watt one but uh, consistently getting about a half an amp. Okay guys, final thoughts, tell me what you think. Um, these things are invaluable for keeping the health of your batteries um, up so it can make a sealed lead acid battery last a little bit longer. Um, you can use it on lawnmowers, on generators, on automobiles. So tell me what you think about it. Leave comments down um, down below. Like, subscribe to the channel and share the video if you will. But I want to thank the people from Echo Worthy um, for sending these out because these are something that I've been looking at for a little bit uh, for my car um, and also for my lawnmower and now with a, a brand new generator wanting to keep those batteries healthy and having something like this set up for them um, can make those batteries last longer and also make them to where when you go to turn that key uh, the engine will start so I want to thank you again for watching again like subscribe share the video I thank you for all the viewership that you give me and I'm going to tell you have a blessed day and we'll see you in the next video